What day is it? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't know what day it is. Welcome to the stream. Uh, gonna do a kind of a short Animal Crossing stream today so I can make some Berg later. Um, I know I'll end up getting caught in, you know, up in the game and catching eggs for two hours. I know how it goes, but welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, Resident Evil 3 will be later on. But I'm gonna do some Animal Crossing now because Scoot moved in. And he's, he's available to hang out. Oh, Flick! I've never seen Flick in town before. And... It's cool, I'll be catching eggs to give to Flick today. But yeah, sorry for the erratic stream times. I really don't have a schedule, you know that. Excuse me. Um, but... It's just been all over the place. Sometimes it's 3, 4.30... 5.30, I don't know. It's crazy. I've lost all sense of time. Vinny, did you know that you're in the new episode of Boundary Break? <laughs> she says Boundary broke onto my island <laughs> without my without my knowing. <laughs> 5:45 p.m. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. He just hung out and flew around in the sky. Um Anyway, the sheep has moved in. Not a lot of people are fans of the sheep. Oh, I got this nice hat. John Full Sauce made it. Went and sold some uh, cherries, and I paid off my house, which means I now have a better house. Best music! I may have another hat, too, actually. Goddamn right. 3 a.m.'s good, too. Good. All this stuff. Vinny, that's CJ's hat. CJ is the real epic gamer slash streamer. Um, yeah, Nook has increased my home size. Pretty cool. I was wondering, like, I was thinking about doing a Zelda 1 dungeon theme, but I don't think anyone's made Zelda 1, because I saw Minecraft stuff, and people were able to make really cool Minecraft rooms, but I was thinking, like, Zelda 1 could work. That doesn't look too bad. I mean, again, the room placement is definitely kind of fucking with the vibe of my room here, but it's it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, you can stack. I don't know why I have a box room chat. People keep sending me boxes. Thank you, by the way, for the boxes. But... Holy fuck. There are many different types of boxes. Like, you can make the box bed. There's the box table. This is large boxes. This is small boxes. I wonder if there are more. Vinny, please tell me you've heard of the Final Fantasy VII Remake story changes. Um... No, and, and I've been keeping it... I don't really mind, because, um, you know, as, as someone who has played the original game, I have no problem with that. But, I haven't heard it because I want to enjoy, um, you know, the game when it comes out. So I'm not watching that last trailer. I'm just gonna play through it and see what happens. I'm sure I'll have some complaints. Vinny, remember these words. Alright, well, I'm, you know, I don't get that upset about it. I mean, what do you want me to do? It's a, it's a video game. 
So there are bigger problems in the world. Final Fantasy VII's great and all, but the original still exists. I will complain. Guaranteed, I will have my complaints. But I'm sure I'll be able to just say, all right, whatever. It's a remake, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's fine. It's not the original. So... I'm looking forward to it regardless, but I, I know it's going to end up being one of those things that's going to piss some people off. And I'll probably have my own complaints, but, you know, let's just try to enjoy it as best we can. Life is hard enough. Um, Final Fantasy VII Remake doesn't need to be hard to. Also, hi everybody, hope you're doing well. I'll be really pissed if, like, Barrett is not in the game. Like, that's that'll piss me the fuck off. Um, what else would piss me off? If the gameplay was terrible, but I like it, so those are good things. Pretty sure he's in the game. Well, that's good. Vinny, what did you have for dinner? Oh, that was a voice crack. That was a good one. Listen, I'm still upset that I have to pay for part one, two, and possibly three or four. For Final Fantasy VII Remake, considering Egg, um, considering we may never see those games, <laughs> who knows what console? PS6. But anyway, we can talk about that next week when the game comes out. Uh, I I'll I'll be fair about it, but you know, uh, I didn't have dinner today. I had just like a sausage, egg, and cheese, and uh, two waffles. So that was my lunch slash breakfast. And, um, later I'm gonna have, uh, Berg, plus, uh, some veggies of some kind. I have many veggie, maybe asparagus? Scoop! I nearly sprained my creativity, what do you think? You're not gonna believe it, I made a pear bed. <laughs> I was out jogging the other day, and somewhere around the 53rd mile, inspiration just hit me. Again, jogging 50-something miles, it's crazy. Could've been dehydration. Either way, check it out. Stay hydrated. I got coffee. Building it was like a hard workout routine. You know I'm all about sharing my routines. So what do you say? You want to get built making yourself a pair bed? Teach me, Scoot. Well, I could or I could give you this paper I wrote the recipe down on. I vote for the paper. One of my villagers told me they were going to jog 2,196 miles, said Sphinx. Jesus, who was that? Was that, um, the Proclaimers? And I would jog 2,196 miles, and I would... <laughs> um, Scoot in HD is really weird, because his detail is so, so good. Hey, I heard Egbert is ill and bedridden. Oh, oh no. This is the wrong time for this, Scoot. I hope he's alright all by himself. I'm worried, so how about you go check up on him, Zipsum? Uh... Oh, fuck. I'm gonna get him some medicine. But first... And you know what? Eye protection too. You, you can't be too safe, chat. Wow. That is the face of an epic gamer. What does that pair bed look like? I'm sure it's kind of cool. Oh, that is actually kind of cool. See, Scoot already providing some decent DIY compared to some of the other <clears throat> DIY that a certain uh, rabbit has been providing. I also got this cherry blossom pond stone, which is kind of neat.
A gamer so epic he doesn't need to do or see anything. Vinny, when a sick person... Usually you give a sick person a bowl of chicken noodle soup. What the fuck do you do for a sick rooster? Human noodle soup. Bath water? Hey, do you lads have any medicine? Glass holder with can- I- I have a lot of candles. I'm gonna be able to re- recreate Unplugged from New York by Nirvana with the amount of acoustic guitars and candles I have. I just need plants. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that, actually. I don't like that bed. That- that bed is... kinda shit. I don't think anyone's actually tried to recreate the set of Unplugged from New York, so fuck it. I can do it. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Uh, let's see. You got medicine, right? You got medicine? Nice. We'll save Egbert. No problem. Egbert's gonna be fine. Um... Today, 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 day, 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 day. I like how amidst all of what's happening right now, Liam Gallagher is still shit talking his brother on Twitter. It's just without fail, man. Just without fucking fail. Could you imagine people that got this game, like, yesterday or two days ago, and are trying to, like, build up their island for the very first time, and they- they have to wait an extra three days or so because they keep catching egg? I mean, listen, I'm happy events are in the game. I like the events. I, I think this could have been a cool event if the furniture wasn't so butt ugly. Or if it sold for a decent amount. Like... I like the idea of, like, Easter Egg Hunt. Um, also there was a patch last night. It was a very, very small patch. The only thing that seemed to have been fixed... ...was the balloon... ...glitch. So now you can get more than 300 balloons. So... I am very happy about that. I mean, it looks like Nintendo is updating the game with um, some expedience. And considering what's happening in the world, that's that's a good sign. Alright, now let me craft 10 fish bait at the same time, Nintendo. So, the other thing is, I was gonna say... Is I lost it completely. I don't remember what I was gonna say. Never mind. I don't have anything to say. Why you run? Why you run, Diva? Where you where you run to? Are you just doing exercise? <laughs> that face. She's Naruto running. She's practicing for Area Fifty One. That's a six-month-old meme now, at this point. Or, or older, perhaps. Yo, you know, what's the word? Check out that wicked sunset, you know. Ah, I love this place. It's okay. I got miles for talking to D.Va. Tom Nook has his own reward program specifically for D.Va. Talked to Frog three times. Alright, I'm delaying something very important. I gotta go help Egbert. D.Va is the main character. It's a funnier character than we've ever had. What if D.Va is the main character and I'm just her villager?
Yeah, trash rock. I can't wait for Animal Crossing in 20 years to become Westworld. That's gonna be fun. Diva will be the, um, the Dolores. Cherry will be, uh... Ooh, that sucked. Uh, Cherry will be Maeve. Who's Teddy? I'm trying to think of a Teddy amalgam. Teddy. How about- is there a villager named Teddy? Okay, then Teddy would be Teddy. For those that don't know, Teddy in Westworld was played by Sonic Copman. James Marsden. Oh, this poor bastard. Look at that Atlas Moth. I caught that for him. Look at that Wasp. I caught that for him. You see? He's not eating the, the insects. I'm here to save you, Egbert. Achoo! Good thing I'm all prepared. Thanks, fine. I appreciate it. Medicine. Oh, man. Did you bring that for me? Thank you. Hey, this medicine's not so bad. Snacks are better, but this isn't the gross mouth party I thought it would be. Ooh, gross mouth party. Whew, I feel a little better. That medicine must be working. Hey, let me give you this as a thanks. As thanks. Or a raincoat. Enjoy. I've already got one. But I'll take it. You really help me out. If you ever feel super lousy, you just let me know, doodle da. Should keep some medicine handy in case of a total downer like today. Preparedness. Thanks for the medicine. You're my hero. Alright. I, you know, tried real hard to make this the perfect place to chill. Go ahead and have a look around. Where's the bugs? Are they all burrowed in the ground? What are you doing? What is that? Stop that. That's me. You're staring at me. Chat, I want to do a, a new passport photo. I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do it with Scoot. I'm going to have, um... That's not a bad house. Egbert did a good job with it. Someone said, I'm so sick of the duck beak. That's not your character. I like it. I don't think it'll be like a constant throughout the whole playthrough, but I'm... This is my Scoot cosplay. Please, let me have my small pleasures in life. Okay. It's gonna be one of those- one of those weird pictures. So I do this, right, and I do... Passport. And then... Come on, you know! Edit passport photo. Take photo. Gotta get the Epic Gamer hat in there.
Yeah, I think I like that. That's pretty good. Not weird. It's definitely not weird. Scoot just hammering away. How are you holding that hammer, Scoot? You came back fine. It's just one surprise after another with you, Zipzoom. What's up? Have you met Hoor Island's newest native yet? First impressions are very important. Now, what you want to do is run up to them at full speed and say, It's nice to meet you! Really put some oof into it. If you can still talk afterward, you didn't use enough oomph, Zipzoom. Thanks, Scoot. Yeah, um, people who watched the Boundary Break appearance, that was a couple days ago, so my house and my island were still a little different, but I'm glad you liked it, if you did. Uh, one, the most amazing part of it for me was that bug that was stuck on the wall was a centipede, where in She Says' His Town, it was not a centipede. So, for those that didn't watch the video, basically, if you clip through the museum, at a certain spot, there's a bug stuck on the wall. And in She Says' his Town, it was like a scorpion. In my fucking town, it was a centipede. Frying pan is the hot item today. So, I mean, I don't know what kind of cruel prank... ...the game is playing on me, but... One. Remember, my streak was broken, so... God damn it. And Flick is in town today, too. Oh, Jacques. We've barely gotten to know each other, Jacques. What's up? Um... Oh, sorry, I was just getting in some power meditation. Oh. Hong oh, no. Hong! Power meditation! Uh, hi, do you live here? I'm Flick. I'm, uh, kind of a bug buff. An insect enthusiast, an arthropod artiste. I love all bugs and their appendages. So, again, this is my first, um, encounter with Flick. I've been traveling all across, uh, the islands looking for my soul bug, the perfect inspiration for my art. I must capture every wiggling leg, each joint of the antenna. We're so lucky to live in their world. Does he just- he eats them too, right? So if you find a bug, will you sell it to me? I can pay a little extra. No price is too high for my chitness kindred. And that's any bug. Devotion with any conditions isn't devotion at all. Oh, and if you're uh, interested in my art at all, just let me know. Commissions? <laughs> Are you on Twitter? Oh, you're interested. Consider it my mission to bring the bug's beauty, however imperfectly, to places they haven't been blessed. A bug's... Plug. A bug's form is whole and complete from the moment of its creation while we poor observers are flawed. I seek to capture a shadow that of that form and while I do live need live models to work from, I don't charge bells. If there's a bug you want me to sculpt, bring three of them. So it's yeah, it's CJ, but bugs. Alright, thanks, mate. I'll be I don't know. Wait, three centipedes? <laughs> I don't know if I have three centipedes on my island, but I think the centipede might be perfect. I've already got one in the museum, apparently, so... May as well. Tarantula Island can get you 400k plus. Jesus. Uh, Violet made modern wood wall recipe for me. Our rancho is still happening. Blue bear. Oh, hi there, Vine. Sorry, I was thinking really hard. Didn't notice you. 
kind of thinking of um, moving away from this island. I mean, I've got to see the world. I've got to learn how to be famous. Go make it big, Blue Bear. Thanks! Friends who support your dreams are totes the tops. Vine, it's your job now to keep the vibe on this island trendy and fresh. Peach, Vine, I won't forget you even when I become a famous pop star. Super great to see you. What do you need? Um... Eh, just saying hi. Okay, maybe some other time, Peach. That's... that's really sad. I feel really sad about that. Ah. Uh, see ya, Blue Bear. Damn. Well, I guess she's gonna lay make it famous on some other island. But that's good. I you know, I support her dreams and I, I hope they become memes and dreams. Yeah, it's just, I'm very emotional right now. I can't even really talk. Ah, <sighs> see a blue bear. For our time together was entirely too short. I don't believe I hit Blue Bear with a net at any point. Can't tell if eggs. It's eggs. Blue bear is a big fish in a small pond. <laughs> okay, that is not eggs. I mean, I was nice to blue bear. I gave blue bear, bear plenty of wasps and stuff. Cherry Blossom Umbrella. Well, I can't get a three-star island until I have eight villagers, so... You know, today is one of those days I'm gonna have to build um, some more housing. Yeah, I heard the cherry blossom stuff was good. Yeah, I found out about the balloons. Red balloons are recipe, yellow is bells, green is furniture, blue is materials. Good thing you wrote that out, because I wouldn't have remembered all that, but... The green one obviously makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Cherry blossom petal, times seven. What a shame about the cherry blossom fest being kind of overtaken by this dreck. Vinny, that's false info. Oh, okay. I heard it was... it made sense to me. So, but if that's incorrect information, then that's fine. I'm gonna put some weeds in storage, like a fucking hoarder. Because... You never know when you're going to need medicine. I'm going to put some pears in storage so I can make that pear bed later. I'm going to give that as a gift to Scoot, maybe. No, no, you know what? No. Well, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell because... It takes nine pears. It's a lot of pears.
How many pairs do you have in storage? Probably no pairs. I swear to God, Mick Gordon should cover this. And they should... <laughs> they should do a crossover. Oh, I've got plenty of pairs in storage. I can make the bed. Also, 400 storage limit. That's pretty bueno. Does it increase more than that? Up to 1,600. Fucking yes! I can be the hoarder I've always wanted to be. Never have to worry about... You know... Clearing out my storage and... Wasting time. One more time wasting, everybody. Oh, my bug net broke. I'm gonna put, um, a crafting table outside. Just not now. <laughs> uh, right, bug net. Tree branch, and then iron. Good thing I have... 92 tree branches. One hundred percent cast iron grill. Vinny, if you had to cho choose the Beach Boys or the Beatles, it, the Beatles. But the Beach Boys, uh, they have a couple albums that are very important to me, so. But the, the Beatles were more consistent. You can't, you can't, you know. For me, it's just, there's no comparison. Like, if you did Beatles or Stones, I would, I would say Beatles, too. As much as I love the Stones, and the Beach Boys, and the Kinks. Very much love the Kinks, they're great. But, the Beatles. Stones or Beach Boys? Okay. See, now we're getting into, like... Difficult question to answer territory. I'm gonna say... The Stones by, a, like, a fucking centimeter. The Beatles or the Ringles? The Ringles, hands down. Thank you. Video games or tacos? Oh. I haven't had a taco in, in like, fucking... A month. And that's not good. Pink Floyd or the Beatles? Well, now you've narrowed down my two favorites, uh, aside from Bowie. Fuck. You. No, no, not you, not you, not you. Um, fuck that question. Resident Evil is downloaded, by the way. <laughs> Blue Bear has been replaced by Yellow Sheep. Um, I took your advice and moved to this island. As you can see, I'm totally unable to entertain anyone at the moment. It's quite embarrassing, but I should have this cleaned up by tomorrow, so let's take some time to catch up soon, Bo Peep. Vinny, you should try making your own tacos. I have. When I did Red Bib, I made plenty of tacos, and they were good. It was like, you know, all the usual stuff. I might do a taco... Ah, Now I feel bad. <laughs> God damn it. Next time I go shopping, whenever that may be, I will... I will do the taco mix. And I will, I will do the thing. I have to do that. That sounds good. Tonight's Berg. 
and then tomorrow's chicken. So I have like, and I got vegetables for everything too. Last night was the jambalaya, which really sat heavy in my stomach, but it was delicious. So I mean, again, you know, Red Bib prepared me. I can cook, I can clean, I can, uh, Pink Floyd. And I hate that you made me choose. I hate that you made me choose. How dare you? Cute floor lamp. Pre or post White Album Beatles? Uh, why White Album? How about we do post- how about Sgt. Pepper? <laughs> White Album. There's only, like, a couple albums after the White Album. Pink Floyd or Giant Flesh-Eating Scorpions? Oh, the Scorpions, no, no doubt. The band. No, I love, um, I, the Scorpions are actually really good. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be Floyd, but... What's I gonna say? Pre. Pre, because there's, there's just so much good stuff in there. Before then, Revolver, Pepper, etc. Nintendo or never playing music again. Fuck you, chat member. How dare you? <laughs> I can still play PlayStation and PC games. You're not like... You know, an 80s mom, right? Why don't you play your Nintendo, dear? As, like, that's every video game. No Zelda ever again. No Mario ever again. No more Animal Crossing. Ugh, that's tough. I, I- music is too important to me. I have to choose music. If you said no video games ever again, or no music ever again, then I would explode. I would, like, actually fucking combust. Video games are fun, and obviously it's my favorite hobby, but music is good for my fucking disgusting soul. So I need that. I played REM today. Uh, I was listening to Document again. From start to finish. And, uh, that... made me feel, like, normal. And I was like, oh, this this just is nice to listen- really good to listen to this album. Also listen to the new Pearl Jam album. Gigaton. Really good. Really good. Yeah, it's, uh, like, kind of... Maybe one of my favorite things they've done in the past... God... 15 years? 20 years? It's really good. Vinny, meeting Sean Lennon or meeting Scoot IRL? I've already met Sean Lennon, so... Briefly... I think I'd like to meet Scoot. Oh, come on. I've, like, grown numb to the sound of the presence because of this weird event. You know, that was red and that was clothes. So I don't I don't know. I'm not really sure how that if that works. Yeah, the Easter balloons are a rainbow. Yeah. Let me get in here and
your home has another proper room. That's another upgrade. And, uh, oh god. 7,500 and... Sorry, 758,000 bells. <laughs> oh my god. Replacement doors. Changing your door will change the vibe of your home, so I do hope you give it a try. The vibe? Just on the outside, though, right? Oh, nice. Cardboard box. I was looking for one. I'm gonna start getting a couple things from uh, the Redeem Miles service here. Change your town tune. I, I will eventually. I just... That's just low on the list of priorities for some reason. Vinny, did your opinion on the slow rush change? I... Not really. I've listened to it a couple times. It's fine. I still like it. It's a jam. But I don't know if I'd listen to it as much as I have the previous albums. It's a good album. Chunky jams. Maybe another street lamp. I could do two street lamps in the, you know, like by the airport. That could be kind of nice. And then I'll get one more large item. Spend. Uh, so lighthouse is cool. Monster statue eventually. Teacup ride. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Inter um. Oh wait, this antenna was cool. Yeah. Vinny, how did you like the new Tool album? I liked it. I listened to it a couple times, one time in a dark room in headphones, and that was a fun listen. But I, I don't come back to it. It's like anything post-Lateralis Tool for me. I just... You know, I like it, but I'm, I'm not listening to it a whole lot. Someone said Radiohead or Adams for Peace. Radiohead, definitely. I want to buy some land, so we can move a new villager in. Vinny, one or two? Um... Two. Kid A or Kid B? I've been listening to a lot of Kid A. I feel like Kid A is a very good soundtrack for uh, isolation at the moment. And uh, so I'm going to say Kid A because Kid A exists and Kid B doesn't. Kid B is amnesiac. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. Jacques has been sitting by this river for a very long time. Okay, let's do the donations. I'm gonna go to an island. I'm gonna check out... Oh, I didn't check out the other stuff at the store. There's some good real estate up there. You know, Blue Bear's home. Uh, yeah, this is some good real estate. Mabel Sisters has not opened up yet, to my eternal disappointment. Celia, I haven't seen you in a couple days. How's your day? You need a new outfit. Oh my god. 
try to be a good listener. You can talk to me anytime further. Celia is so goddamn nice. Easily the nicest villager I have. I'm gonna go get some clothes for Celia. Because that outfit is a little pukey. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Virtual animal outfits. Animal Crossing just does weird things, man. It turns you into an epic gamer. I wanted to get the three centipedes. I'm gonna hold off. Maybe the island I go to will have some rocks with centipedes on them. Whoa. Oh, right, the chair. Oh, no, is that gone forever, or do I ever get a new rock? It grows back. It respawns. Okay. Well, that's good. In the same spot or a diff different spot? Different spot. That's cool. Okay. So you can really, you know, you get a certain amount of rocks and you have to have that many rocks. So, like, what's, what's the number of rocks on the island that you can get maximum? Like, five? Six. So, I thought of a thing I'm gonna do here. Um, at some point, I'm gonna move these so that they're all on the outsides here. And then I'm gonna move the flowers in the middle. I don't really have a good eye for decoration um, at all, in fact. I mean, you can tell by looking at my house. But... I'm going to try to do something with this, because it, it looks cool, but it, it looks also not great at the same time. I still need one more fossil. Finny, your Minecraft world looks fine. Uh, RimWorld also is a mess, but it, it has its weird charm, I guess. It's just symmetry and, like, planning are not my strengths. It's another fucking rainbow egg? God damn it. How many fossils do I have? I mean, my living environment is also, like, chaos of some kind. It's an organized, comfortable chaos. So... I don't know, it's just kind of... Like my fucking brain, I guess. You know, your, your room is your brain, chat. Think of your living space as what your brain is... is <laughs> Handy cart again? Hand cart? Handy cart. Oh, bandage. KK step. A portable record player. Fairly decent goods. Someone in the chat said, I have a full jester costume now. I feel so alive. 
Your Dementio from Super Pap Mario. Or the Jester from Devil May Cry 3. Take your pick. I didn't know Jesters were in this game, but I know there's a clown sheep. I wouldn't mind a clown fit. I'm, I'm sure there's a clown outfit somewhere around here. D M C D D M C D D M C D Let's start with this rare butterfly I have. Pretty as a peacock. Bah, I say. The wings of the peacock butterfly may have a pattern similar to that of the beautiful bird, but its four wings are also often covered in dark, velvety hair. You heard right. Hairy wings. A hair-raising revelation, indeed. Vinny, name the instrument playing with the piano. Is it a oboe? Or a, yeah, maybe an oboe or a bug, and a bugle. I'm not sure. Bass clarinet. Bassoon. Yeah, there's there's several types of bassy, horny instruments. You heard what I said. Copper light. Copper lights are, in fact, <clears throat> bits of fossilized feces. Oh, <laughs> it's true. It must be said that they are astonishing treasure troves of ancient information. A wall, for example, the copper light from certain plant eating dinosaurs has been found to contain small pebbles. The fuck? This tells us that these dinosaurs, like many modern birds, ate rocks to help grind the greens in their bellies. Indeed, fossilized feces reveal not only what food the dinos ate, but how they digested it too. Who knew? Absolutely fucking mental. Let me see, let me listen to this. It sounds like a horn. It sounds like a wind instrument. Someone said it's an oboe player. It's not an oboe. Bass clarinet. Sounds pretty good. Vinny, it's a cello. Well, that's a string instrument. That doesn't sound like a string in instrument to me. I can't hear it very well, but... Um... Let's see. I don't. I'm not like an. I'm not good at this. But let me let me uh, listen to bass clarinet from this dude on YouTube. Let's see. That sounds like a. And now. Vibrate is going to create the sound. <laughs> yeah, kind of sounds like that. Vinny, oh, you're a musician. Name every instrument ever. <laughs> I have no musical training, really. So, musician is a tough thing to call myself. But I'll tell you what. I play the guitar, is what I call myself, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Got some bugs. 
Doesn't matter how much I treasure the bugs, they'll never notice what I do for them. Oh, I'm sorry, lost in my thoughts. Have you found any bugs yet? Because, by any kind. Um, I'm gonna sell some bugs first. And then, I'm gonna go to an island and look for some centipedes or some shit, I don't know. <laughs> sure. Eh, what? So, now's the time to place down a house. I'm gonna place down a house, like, right here. Yeah. Next island will have another random mystery uh, villager, which I, I like that. I want to do mystery villager. I don't want to just keep bringing ducks in. Because, you know... That's the easy way out, and I feel like it's kind of more fun. You never know who you're going to get. What if Blue Bear is on the island? I might get Drake. Drake, I'm, I'm going to hold off on for a while, and then eventually Drake would be nice to have on the island, but... Uh... It's just Blue Bear. Oh, hey! You, f you found me on the island I wanted to move to. Isn't that something? <laughs> that is so... silly. That is so silly. I like it. Vinny, put it in the gnome room? That That is a very gnomish device. I will do that. Alright, so, Celia. Milkmaid dress? Yeah. That, that kind of fits Celia's whole thing. Kind of fits, um, the color scheme, too. Got boxes full of Pepe chat. I don't know what to do with all these boxes. I don't know how many cardboard box things there are. There's so many. Snake wishes to know your location. Nighttime in Gnome Room.
I look over at chat, someone says, please stop. Wish granted. Alright, we're gonna go to an island, but first let me sell some dinosaurs. Celia, before I go to my next- oh, you got your athletic gear on, that's okay. Nice to see you again, Feathers. Do you want this? Take this outfit. You're really giving me a milkmaid dress? I'll try wearing this and see how it feels. <laughs> Thanks so much, I love the color. Here, I want you to have my hamster cage. Yo, what? True friends. Uh, it's a little weird. <laughs> it's fine. What's what's up? Bunny day is almost here. When I was little, I used to go hit trees around this time of year to make pretty eggs fall out. I never asked how they got there, or why coconut trees always had more than others, but now I wonder. Mysteries of life. I don't know if I had a hamster cage already. I, I seem to recall having a hamster cage. Yeah. Hamster room? Put it in the nursery as a class pet. If only the nursery was a little bit bigger. Both yellow. Both hamster. <laughs> the fuck is this room? Pirate Cardboard Hamster Room. You can just put three words together and there's a theme. Instant theme. Let's, let's do it. Um, I think I might wrap up the stream after the island. I started a little late today, and uh, I'm going to be back later with Resident Evil 3, maybe RimWorld. But maybe like another 20 minutes, half hour, I'll stream this. Yeah, well, the burg the burgening is not upon us yet. I probably make the burg in like another two hours, hour and a half, two hours, something like that. 
Vinny, have you heard 3 a.m. music? Yeah, I've played a couple times at 3 a.m. for like, you know, half hour just to wrap some stuff up for the day. It's, it's fucking weird. I like it. Okay, so... Who... Who imst will be the villager on this island? I can see them... They are... I can kind of see them over there. I don't want to spoil the surprise too soon. It's... It's, uh... Hmm. It's Louie, too. More ass! This one has a mustache. Don't believe we've met. Name's Caesar. Fancy meeting you here, uh, wherever here is. I'm a mite fuzzy on that part, Highness. You're Vine, right? From Horror Island? Uh, you're a long way from home, at least I think you are. Well, we all got our reasons for being where we are, I reckon. Chat. I don't think I want... Caesar on my island. I'm good. It's gonna be... a bit un... Popular. I, I see people who like Caesar, but I already have Louie. I'm good. Nook Mile round two. Yeah, we're gonna go for a round two. Chat in Metal Gear Solid. What are the names of the soldiers that Snake has to fight? The Genome Soldiers. They're breeding gnomes. They start in the nursery, next to the cardboard box room. It's all related. Vinny, you made that joke already? Well, shit. I think Caesar's just stuck here forever. I need gold. Give me gold! No more egg! Gold! Not egg! He eventually makes Planet of the Apes. There, yeah, there is a movie. Andy Serkis plays Caesar. It's the first Animal Crossing movie. In a series of Animal Crossing movies. Uh, chat, Paper Kite Butterfly? Do, do we know how much these lads are worth? Is it worth catching them? 1k? It's fine, I'll take it. Yeah, why not? Vinny, there already is a movie. Wasn't it? Uh, it's not a full-length film, is it? I remember it was like, um... It's animated. And it came out years ago. It is full-length? Is it? Is it in Japanese and it's subbed? Yeah? Yeah, I've heard of it. I haven't seen it. I thought it was like a... Oh, I, you know what? I might be getting it confused with Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger had like a nine-minute little cartoon that accompanied it in Japan. 
I've shown it on stream. It was new, and what was the other dude? It was Specchio's, like, Amalgam? What was the... It was, oh god, I can't think of the name of it. And, uh, Gonzalez was in it, too. Yeah. What was that? Killwalla, thank you. I should know these things. Me being the, uh, quote-unquote Chrono Trigger fan that I claim to be. But, yeah, that was, I like that one. That's where the song came from. Vinny, your voice sounds so high-pitched. Are you on caffeine? What the hell is Twitch doing? This is such a recent development. Like, so apparently it's just the Twitch player, and you have to refresh, or, you know, like, something happened. I don't really know the technical stuff behind it. It's from low latency mode trying to catch up. Is that what that is? Pause and play will fix it, says Dave. If you don't have good internet, turn off low latency mode is something I'm seeing. But yeah, I mean, this is something that's new as of the past two months. Excuse me, if that... It's such a weird thing. Vinny, you sound younger. I was like, what does that mean, I sound younger? And then I found out it's because my voice was getting, like, high-pitched. I guess that is how you make someone sound younger. You just pitch them up. It's like South Park, I guess. Like Matt and Trey just pitch their voices up and you have the South Park lads. Vinny, you sound elderly young. Vinny, you sound Neil Young. That's a compliment. Old man, take a look at my life. I'm a lot like you were. That's a uh, comedy Neil Young voice. As much as I don't like Jimmy Fallon, dude has a pretty good Neil Young impression. Like, seriously good. Isn't it weird that Neil Young, uh, a young man, had a, a song called Old Man, but he's now an old man. But he wrote it when he was a young man. I think that's a Norm Macdonald bit, never mind. Vinny, do you like pavement? It, the pavement is good, because then, you know, your car drives along a lot smoother. You know, I don't, I don't like uh, potholes and bumpy roads. You, what are you expecting from me? Come on. You, you know, this is when you come to this stream, you know you get trash humor. Come on. Pavement is wonderful. And also, Stephen Malkmus's new album, he put out a solo record that's the frontman from Pavement. And it's it's actually pretty good. I heard a couple songs off of it. I gotta check it out. Vinny, do you listen to The Roots? I've seen The Roots live. At All Points West. It was like Kings of Leon, Radiohead, a million other bands and The Roots. And the three I saw were Radiohead, like one song from Kings of Leon, and then a bunch of Roots songs. Kings of Leon sucks. Yeah, I'm not really a big Kings of Leon fan, but I did like that one album. What the hell's the name of that goddamn album? Ten years ago. I don't know what the name of it is. Oh man, it was it was one album I liked. I don't remember it. 
obviously was not memorable. There's a couple songs on there I like. Pussy in Flames? Oh yeah, that's the name of their hit single. Oh! Your sex is on fire! What a terrible song. God, I hated that song. That was a skip every time. But the album that was on is the one I'm talking about that I actually liked. There's a song called Manhattan on there that I liked. Maybe I'm a little biased. Vinny, it's not that bad. I just didn't like it. I just, it was overplayed. I thought it was corny. Uh, it was catchy, but just corny. Only by the Night is the name of that album, yeah. Is that a vaulting pole? It's awesome, you know. Hey, I bet if you put enough oomph into it, you can fling yourself all the way to the next island. Okay, let's make a stretch. We've already read that one. What's your favorite Blur album? I, I struggle with that one because it's it's either Park Life, Blur, or Thirteen. Those are all good. Tough, tough choice. And Magic Whip is good too. I like. Oh, God, I pretty much like every Blur album. It's it's a hard choice. Oh, wrong, wrong. I don't want to be here. Magic Whip is borderline a Gorillaz album. I agree, and also Think Tank sounds like a Gorillaz album too. Which is, I think, why I love those two albums so much. Graham isn't on Think Tank, except for one song, so it's just mostly Damon. But it's good. It's really good. Yeah, I think on my playlist, I have Ambulance, the first song from that album, as the second song on my playlist. So it's like Airbag from Radiohead into Ambulance by Blur. And I feel like those are two really good openers, so... We'll do one more island, why not? It's borderline experimental. I think a new Gorilla song is coming out soon. They released a little trailer for it. So they're doing their Song Machine album, which isn't really even an album. It just seems to be a number of like connected releases, like singles. And uh, so I really like the past two songs. So I'm curious to see what they're going to do for the next one. But yeah, I think it's, it's going to be out soon. It's a year long album, pretty much. That's cool. What do you think of Julian Casablancas's music? Yeah, it's fine. I like it. I liked him on Daft Punk. How about Primus? Yeah, I love Primus. And I, I've uh, I've met Les Claypool as well. Him and uh, Sean Lennon had the Claypool Lennon Delirium. I went to that show and I met them. It was cool as fuck, and then they did an amazing show. Fucking one of the best shows I've ever seen. Someone said, why is everyone shitting on Primus? That's the joke. The chant at their concerts is literally, Primus sucks. I, it, listen, I had never been to a Primus show, so it took me a while to figure that out, too. So when I say Primus and people are like, Primus sucks, it's fine. It's fine. It's actually completely fine. Alright, here we go, everybody. Here we go. Who will be my next villager? Come on. Whoever. I don't even care who it is. Duck, maybe, would be fine. I, I'm fine with ducks. It's a bear. I think it's a bear. Chat, it's a bear. Blue bear... Replaced by Pooh Bear. I 
think it was a bear. It's like a cryptid. You have to sneak around, you know, you build the tension. Who could it be? We're gonna find out, but we're gonna find out very, very slowly. I'm not gonna ruin the surprise. It is... Who the fuck is this? Hamfrey? Hey, I'm Hamfrey. Came here on a whim, but this island doesn't seem half bad. Snort. This isn't... This is a hamster. This isn't a bear. Hang on. You're Vine? From Hoor Island? Yeah? Had no idea this was some kind of trendy destination, but it's cool to be hobnobbing with you here. I'm taking this motherfucker. It's a good... It's good to step away and look at things from a distance sometimes. Like, I'm looking back and wondering maybe it's time for me to make some kind of change, shake stuff up. I'll gift him hamster cages. The amount of people that don't want me to get this villager is astounding. You're really asking me to move to Hoor Island? It's quite an invite. I almost don't know what to say, which ain't usually a problem for me, but you like it there, right? Everybody's as neighborly as you. Great island. I'm just funning with you. Of course you'd love your home island. Why else would you be inviting me? Is this a grumpy villager chat? Yes, I want a grumpy villager. I need grumpy. Because we- a cranky. Sorry, cranky. Reckon I ought to start packing up my stuff just as soon as I get back home from here, snort. Guess I won't be calling that place home much longer, will I? Yeah, we need some, like, villager variety. So we got two jocks, we had two gorilla. We would have had two gorilla. We got bird. Many, many types of bird. So... A cranky hamster? <laughs> Fine by me. some, like, rare insects, man. I... Like, again, centipedes would be nice. Oh, there's a bottle here, too. Got one. Got one. Got one. Alright. Disgusting, but I just need two more now, and I can get the, uh, the centipede thing. Why do I want this? I don't know. What is wrong with me? Message in a bottle, yeah. Just figuring out what kind of protein shake I wanted for lunch when I had this awesome DIY idea. This is a cool stationery. So amped up, I did a triple set right then. I wrote this. I really super hope you use it. Pear be- God damn it. Wasp one would be nice for next time. Could do peed, centipede now, and then wasp would be next time. This is a glorious day for centipedes, everybody. streak. Santa Pete. Santa Pete. Santa Pete. Here we go. One last chance. Damn. I can already tell there's going to be a number of very upset people about my virtual animal choice that I let Blue Bear go, passed on some people's favorite gorilla, and then accepted a fucking cranky asshole hamster into my town. 
controversy, chat. The controversy. It's gonna be... It's gonna be good. I'm very pleased with my choices. Here on Hoor Island. Just gotta get that last centipede. And, uh, instead of getting a cool bug, I'm getting a fucking centipede as my commission. School chair. Uh, I can go in the nursery. Vinny, are you implying centipedes aren't cool? I hate them. Vinny, I love that you got she says to say whore on a video. Mate. The cut footage was good. I got him to see the Luigi nut. You can see it in the video. You can see the nut emote in the video, like in the back. But... Get three spiders next time. I can make a peed in spider room. get a peat to come out of there by hitting it with an axe, right? Beautiful. <laughs> My progress has been impeded. Use the tool belt. I panicked. I don't know why I went to the menu. Just human meat brain. I have meat and and water. I'm I'm made of of fucking like steak. You know, and the neurons sometimes go through the meat poorly. I don't I don't get it. I don't understand. Vinny water bugs? Did you see any? Is that a water bug? Uh, is that a bug? Oh, it's disgusting. Caught a giant water bug. It should have stayed in the water. See, cranky hamster man is uh, is impressed with my skill, my skills. Could rocks that you've been to already have more? Centipedes. Yes. Yeah. Good, Anakin. Good.
pretty successful island venture. Vinny, why do you surround yourself with things you hate? Vader did the same. Vader built a fucking castle on Mustafar. Lord, use your anger. It gives you focus. You know, it makes it makes one strong. Vinny, there's no sand on Mustafar. Are we sure about that? Vinny, Half-Life when? I finished it, mate. Um There might be sand on Mustafar. Maybe it's like volcanic ash. Gotta move this dude's house down by one. Still fucking shocked that I, I have to do that. I mean, I don't have to, but... I'd prefer to do that. Vinny, are you excited for them releasing Source 2 tools for Half-Life Alex? I can't wait to see what people get to do with it. Can't wait to see that. Noble centipede. Can you part with three of them? They will be happy and safe with me. <laughs> I will taxidermy them into a sculpture. Vinny, you'll have to move him twice. They won't allow small corrections. God damn it. I'm, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna move Louie someplace else, and the next villager that moves in, I'll do the thing. Bingo. Pretty good. But Louie and Diva are like talking. Well, we can put Louie and Diva next to each other. I can move their houses so that there's another row of three. So we can do two rows of three and then a couple of scattered houses, you know, for the outcasts. And Scoot will live on my island. <laughs> wrap up the stream. It's gonna donate um, the fossil and this thing, and then I'll, I'll wrap it up. Resident Evil, later on tonight. Beware the giant water bug, I tell you this vicious predator has been known to attack fish, frogs, and even snakes. Snakes! Truth be told, no one is safe. Its nickname is the Toe Biter, for goodness sake. Oof. One final fact before I faint, the gruesome bug uses its nose to inject its prey with digestive juices. Whew, must stop thinking about the unthinkable. Any hoot, my, sin my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured, the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Alright, fossils. Yeah, that doesn't sound... I mean, I'm not a big insect fan anyway, but, like, the butterflies are fine. You know, like, Blathers goes a little above and beyond. That fucking thing looked very upsetting. It did not resonate with joy. It's the Streliopith. 
We already have one. Okay. Next time I go to the museum, we'll take a look at the fossilized feces. And yes, I just said that and meant it for real. Well, one one more chat, Blue Bear. Let's see any more times we can talk to each other, Peach. Blue Bear, I'm gonna give you a parting gift. Take the Australopith. pith. Australo. Astro Take this. Are you sure I can have this? Thank you so much. Hey, I wanted to say thanks, but with like an object here. It's a bidet. I, I don't know how it could be more fitting. Blue Bear just called me an asshole. A dirty asshole, basically. Amazing. I didn't say it wasn't deserved. I'm going to show you the poop mechanics in the game real quick. Also, I don't know if anyone else knew this, but did you know... ...you can move your, uh... ...your mailbox? So if you have, like, a fence, you can, um, move it to the front. I love seeing how many people in chat are like, what? Yeah, you can. You can move it. You need a certain amount of expansions first. And can you poop outside? Alright, I'm gonna set up my bidet right in front of Scoot's house. So you eat a cherry. Let's eat two. How do you poop? What's the poop button? Bidet is not a toilet. Well, it, the toilets could have a bidet attached to them, no? You don't poop in a- no, the bidet's the attachment for the toilet. Pooping in a bidet. No, it's a separate thing. Well then, what do, what do you call a bidet that attaches to your toilet? A bidonk? A bidet. Well, you don't poop in the bidet. But it's an attachment. This is all very confusing. Alright, I'm just gonna save now. I'll do management, inventory management later. I learned- I learned something today about pooping, so thanks, chat. It only takes a bunch of shitters to teach me how to shit. That's payback, chat, for you calling me a dumb. Hmm? Alright, well, hey, thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching. Stay safe, everybody. Stay, uh... Stay healthy, and, you know, continue to, um... Enjoy Animal Crossing. And I hope... Why did I press that button? No. And, uh, you know, I hope everything goes well for you all. Uh, and, and good luck with everything, because it sucks right now. And I'm going a little stir-crazy, but I'll be fine. So I'll be back later with Resident Evil, and maybe even... Uh, Resident Evil, and also... Maybe RimWorld? I'm not sure. Well, regardless, I hope you all have a good day. And, um, and a bid day. And I'll see you later, okay? Bye-bye.
Art later. Oh, you can wait here for the auto host if you don't want to uh, stop watching streams. You might find a good streamer that just kind of pops up automatically on the stream. So uh, check them out. There's some good streamers on right now.